What's up guys, this is Josh here as always with JB Fitness. We are here today to talk about training to failure. Now I see a lot of people in my gym, even people that have been working out for a long time and not really making any gains or kind of newer people at the gym as well, where they don't train to failure. Um, I think a lot of people look at bodybuilders and say, hey, they're doing, only doing sets of 8, 10, or 12. And I see it too. People will go up and do like dumbbell bench press or whatever and do like 10 reps. And they don't look like they struggled at all, rock the weight. And they'll do a few sets of it thinking that they've had a really good workout. Now, it, it kind of does depend ultimately on your end goal. But most casual gym goers go to the gym to add some muscle size, get stronger, get more functional. And in order to especially build size, you need to train to failure. The thing is, when you look at like a bodybuilder, and they're doing sets of 8, 10, 12, 15 reps. They're strategically using weight that helps them, that makes them fail at that rep range. So they're going to go in, their goal for that day is they're going to do, not necessarily, they don't really have goals with weight, but they're going to have goals for rep ranges. So this is going to be a high volume day. This is going to be a lower volume heavy weight day. They're going to go in there and say, okay, my goal is for sets of 8. So they're going to do bench, for example, find a weight that's going to make them fail at 7 or 8 reps. They're not just throwing weight on and doing 7 or 8 reps and that's it. So if you're looking to build size, you need to fail. So you're going to have your warm-up sets or if you need them, um, which you are going to want to have, especially in, in the beginning of your workout. And then after that, your working sets, if you have, if you do working sets, which you should, they're going to, you want to make it so if, you're, if your goal is 12 reps, which is kind of an 8 to 12 reps is kind of the standard, you want to fail when you get to that rep range. So you want to, like, if your goal is 12 reps, maybe you fail at 10. That's perfect. That's awesome. So make sure you're failing. So don't get to 12 and then, oh, I can do more reps. You want to be at your limit at that, at that rep range. So that's kind of how that works. Now, it kind of depends on different things like power lifters generally don't rep to failure. A lot of times they do do like a burnout set at the end of the workout to build up lactic acid and improve recovery and build muscle mass. So you'll see a lot of power lifters do low low reps with extremely high weight, but then at the end they'll do a burnout set and then their accessory work is also often to failure as well. Weightlifters don't really train to failure like Olympic lifters because they're training for that one explosive lift. So if you're a casual gym goer and you're going to the gym and you want to build muscle and size and strength, you have to train to failure. Get up there, do dumbbells. If you want to do sets of 12, that's fine. Don't just grab a weight and do 12. If you do 12 and you realize that you can do more weight, do more weight. Fail around 12 reps. If you're not failing, increase the weight. That's just my opinion, not yours. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.